and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for September the 30th through October the 6th. Time is flying, guys. If you are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate your loyalty and support of my channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy these readings and that you will return. Um, guys, these are general readings. They're for the collective. Sometimes the messages can be specific. Um, so take what resonates and just leave the rest. If you would like a personal, more tailored reading, uh, please click on this link or go to the show more section below in the description box and you will find uh, a link to my video, uh, sorry, to my website where you can see what kind of readings I offer. Uh, now, uh, what else? Um, yes, these readings are for your sun, moon, and rising. So the other links to all the videos, the other videos will be below. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get them all up there um, as I'm uploading and uh, getting them on YouTube. So just check back. Um, now, I also have a Facebook group, and in that Facebook group, every two weeks I do a live feed. It's a private group, so you must ask to be a member, and I uh, we look at either the new moon or the full moon, and we see how it affects your sign, only for those who uh, attend. And then I have my tarot cards, and we uh, I answer questions for uh, people who are there. So that's fun. Join uh, my Facebook group. Another way to support this channel is through Patreon. You can click on that link here and or find that below too. And I want to thank all my patrons. Thank you so much for your generosity, your support, and your belief in my um in my art. Now, uh, lastly, these readings come in three sections. First, the intro, which is this, and I will have the skip time if you're checking out your sun, moon, and rising below. Then there's the astrological report, what's going on in the celestial sky. The skip time to that will be below. And then the tarot reading for your sign. Um, so without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello and welcome to the astrology section of your reading for September 30th through uh, October the 6th. And what a major crazy astrological sky we have uh, this week. So um, the first, I mean, huge shifts in energy, guys. I mean, this is, you know, a lot of people are going through a lot of change, a lot of turmoil. There's a, anyway, before I run ahead of myself, I'm going to start with September the 30th, Monday. Um, for some people, it's Monday the 30th or for, uh, depending on where you are in the planet, or it's October the 1st. Here in the Eastern Hemisphere, it's October the 1st. Um, Venus is square Pluto. Now, this is a challenging aspect um, when, uh, when we're talking about squares, right? This can bring up, you know, Venus is about relationship, it's about love, it can be about finance too, and Pluto is this like dredging up things, you know, to come up the truth sometimes, as uncomfortable as that can be. So in relationships, this can mean uh, jealousy, manipulation. I'm looking over here because I have the chart, which I'm going to put up here um, when I post the video, so you'll be able to see it. Um, so this can cause jealousy or manipulation or perhaps control in uh, relationships. It's like you can easily get infatuated with someone new. So if you meet someone new, remember that. Um, it's the kind of energy where you fall head over heels um, for someone, but it can turn into an obsession. It's that kind of power dynamic. It's like you meet someone and they're amazing, they're gorgeous, everyone thinks they're fabulous, and you're like, ooh, I can't believe I got this one, right? So you'll do anything to keep them and you you try to be what they want you to be. And, and in doing so, that kind of turns them off because who wants that? Everyone wants authenticity and they want 
you know, they, people, uh, you know, they want confidence. When someone's confident, that's very attractive. So when you're not, and you're worried about what someone's thinking all the time and what they're doing, and you're really trying to, you know, um, perhaps entice them with your sensual prowess or whatever it is that you're trying to get them to stick around for, um, it doesn't work. It kind of has the opposite effect. Um, now, it's really important to be aware of meeting someone new right now, you know, be aware of those feelings and, uh, and, and to be as authentic as possible. It's really important to come back to you. It doesn't matter if this doesn't work out. You really kind of have to remind yourself of that, um, this week in particular. And remember that in your own relationship, you know, uh, you can, you can choose to trust someone, um, instead of, you know, uh, being so insecure with insecurities can come up at this time too. So now October, the big, big, big news, which kind of accentuates what's going on with, uh, the challenging aspect between Venus and Pluto, um, and it accentuates all those kind of feelings is that Pluto stations direct. So it's been going retrograde and now it's really slowed down. So all the qualities of Pluto are amplified and we are seeing it on a global scale, right? So what, you know, Pluto is getting ready to move forward. Um, so Pluto dredges all the dirt, you know, it gets really deep and it dredges all that dirt up and brings it into the light. And we get to see what's going on behind the scenes. It's, it's almost like the curtain is pulled up and we can see uh, the powers that be and what's really going on um, behind the scenes. So uh, what was once unseen is now revealed. Um, so it's like power changes and uh, secrets are revealed. We are already seeing this on the global stage. There are there are a lot of world leaders that are you know have been caught with their pants down, so to speak. <laughs> we are seeing a level of corruption that we have not seen before, and we can't unsee that. Um, it's also causing rebellion. Uh, as well around the world, you know, with all different, um, you know, in all different countries, some for power, some for the climate, you know, various things are going on. This is a very karmic time. Um, we'll have to face probably some uh, hard realities ourselves. You see, Pluto is digging deep. It wants, you know, it wants, it wants everything out. It doesn't care, good or bad or indifferent. Um, so some of us may be scrambling to survive, like some of these world leaders um, are scrambling to survive, right? Um, this is a time for a lot of us, right, of the death of our old life and then the start and renewal of a new path forward. Um, because Pluto's all about kind of destruction and then it builds up. So it's breaking things down so new things can uh, build up in its place. Um, listen, do not fear these changes. These changes are inevitable. Um, and and they're usually for the best. It's just that we need to kind of get up and take the action and take care of ourselves and do what we need to do to move forward in, in our new direction or our new lives. Now, later on that day, right, on the same day, Mercury, which is the planet of communication and intellect, moves into Scorpio. Now, in Libra, it has been, you know, striving for balance and, and, and communication and intellect has been kind of uh, diplomatic and uh, fair. Um, and then as Mercury moves into uh, Scorpio, all those superficial kind of manners, communication manners are just thrown out 
um, to make way for deep and you know real and authentic conversations and 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 it's a time to really dig deep and and to seek out the truth which also amplifies this old Pluto uh, station and aspects with other planets so it's about deep intense discussions and debates and the search for truth because you know scorpio is the detective after all now on october the 2nd or 3rd depending on where you are on the planet mars moves into libra and in this energy we are liable to use our charm to get what we want um, we don't want to appear to be the bad person. You know, we want, we see this every side. We're trying to look at everybody's point of view and every side of the situation, but we are going to get what we want. So we're going to use our wit and charm to get what we want with this energy. Um, and as we kind of see every side to the situation, um, we can have a really intense debate with ourselves, right? So we can be up in our heads a lot and um and the shadow side we don't want to appear like the bad person at all so we're going to use um you know manipulation perhaps to get what we want and we're going to be very charming as we you know push you or nudge you in a direction that we want you to go um and the shadow side of this is uh, passive aggressiveness. So if we get angry, we're not direct. This is not kind of a direct, we're going around the situation. We're not being direct, we're more passive aggressive during uh, this uh, energy. So in summary, this is a time to address anything that we have put on the shelf, anything that we have ignored, anything that we have let kind of fester and grow in the dark because we don't want to deal with it or we it's overwhelming perhaps. It's time to just suck it up and deal with it and take action. And to be aware of manipulation, either people manipulating us or we manipulating others. It's important to not allow that or to see through that, not be easily swayed either way. Um, let's create good karma you know, and co-create with the cosmos. Um, empower yourself with the truth, whether it be good or bad. All right, then. Thank you so much for tuning in. And let's go to your tarot card, shall we? Hello, Leo, and welcome to your reading for September the 30th through October the uh, 6th. This is your tarot section of your reading. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can we give Leo for this coming week? Three cards for Leo, please. Three cards for Leo. Three cards for Leo. Oh, almost came out and then they didn't. Oh, flying out. Okay, one more card for Leo, please. One more card for Leo. Of course, the whole deck's trying to come out. One more card for Leo, please. Oh, okay, there we go. Lovely. All righty then. Now we have the clarifying cards for Leo. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Leo through this clarifying card? Please clarify. Oh gosh, the whole deck came out there. You have a lot of messages, messages coming through. Please clarify. Oh, there it is. Please clarify. Oh, there it is. Please, is that, yeah. Please clarify. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, you really do have a lot of crossover. Check out your sun, moon, and rising for sure. Have a look at your cards, Leo. Okay, so the first card out for you is the Hierophant. Then clarifying that is the Chariot. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. 
clarified by the Ten of Wands. And you have the Three of Cups clarified by the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the Hierophant. The Hierophant is your first card out. And this just means that, you know, go back to your faith. Trust that everything is happening for a reason. Because you may feel um, a bit lost and perhaps in turmoil right now, as a lot of us are with all this energy uh, happening, particularly this week. It's major. So this is saying don't fear, you know, trust that God has your back, the universe has your back, however you articulate your faith. Know that you are, everything's happening just the way it's supposed to. And take fear out of the equation because, you know, this um, tendency to obsessively think over and over again can send you down the rabbit hole. So you don't want to do that. And look, this is a difficult journey, right? This is a difficult journey we're all on. You know, life is no joke at times. So we're on this difficult journey and you are on this difficult journey. However, you are going to triumph because the chariot comes in when the journey ends triumphantly. And this is like a really difficult journey where you've had to kind of navigate through tumultuous times, through, you know, uh, light and dark energy, right? Um, so this requires laser focus. So uh, look, once, yes, you, you've come to the end of a journey and it's triumphant, but don't, um, don't sit down and rest because sometimes the, um, the, the urge to just relax after this and say, that was difficult. Now let me put my feet up, watch the telly, relax, <laughs> keep the momentum going you know, stay on the journey, keep going, You're, you know, it, it gets better and better and better and stay focused on what's going on right now. And, and the next card you have is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is all about um, mastering your craft or um, really learning everything you can, becoming the master uh, of your craft. It's, it can be going back to school, but it's laser focus. It's giving the time, attention, and the effort uh, to your craft. Look, this is the thing. This is the Eight of Pentacles, and up here are all these coins, right? All the pentacles, and they are going to come down as you master your craft. So it's really important to really l focus on what you do and be the best at it. I think that this is an opportunity for you to be the best and this you'll get paid when you are when you become the master. So maybe you're not feeling that affluent at the moment or you're not feeling completely satisfied or fulfilled. But when you focus on that and you really stand out and be, become the best, you are going to get paid. Now, clarifying this is the king of wands. So don't take on too many responsibilities. This is, look, this can be when uh, you, uh, this was in cancer, right? And so was this. Um, and this is interesting because this represents cancer. <laughs> it's being tenacious, it's being determined, it's carrying on that journey no matter what, right? Having the stamina to do that. But this is, you are being weighed down, and this is too many responsibilities, so you really need to delegate. Sometimes this means that you've kind of taken on too much uh, because it's people-pleasing. You really mean that you want to do it. You, you have every intention. It's saying yes too often when you should be saying no. So, Leo, really think about things or responsibilities that you take on. Think about the clients that you take on. This is about trimming the fat. It is about letting some stuff go because it's holding you back from making this abundance, right? So abundance is there for you, but the, you're weighing yourself down. Um, and perhaps you're doing something just for the money and you need, don't be really um, aware 
of your feelings about something. Look at your, you know, if a client comes up to you, say, if you're self-employed and, and you're not feeling that this client is great, but you take the client on because they've got money and they've just thrown all this money down, you're like, yay. But this person is draining. This client is demanding. They're never happy. They're, they never will be happy, right? And so this is about cutting your losses and letting this person go or this client go or this job go. Or, and, and I don't mean just go out and quit your job. I definitely don't mean that. But I mean, even if you're in work and you're taking on too many, too many responsibilities because you want to look good, but the problem is by taking all these responsibilities, you can't. it's like you can't physically do it. So you end up disappointing um, your bosses when your intention was to, you know, impress them. Um, so this really is about um, it, trimming the fat, you know, losing, s delegating, and ask for help because it's dragging you down, it's choking you. And then you've got the three of cups. So it's important to remember um, that you need to have fun. It's like celebrate the magic in every moment, you know, go out kick your heels off, have fun with the girls or with the guys, uh, you know, whatever it is, you know, but ju or just celebrate them. Look at your cup as half full, celebrate, get with like-minded people, you know. Um, clarifying this, there is the uh, Seven of Swords. So there is someone in your midst that is not quite who they say they are. Um, this could be somebody that's not telling you the full truth. It could be somebody who's lying to you. It's somebody who's like friends with you, smiling in your face. I always think of that song. They smile in your face, the backstabbers, backstabbers. You probably don't even know what that is, and I don't remember who did I've got to look that up. But that's what this card uh, in this situation reminds me of. Um, there is someone that's kind of pretending to be your friend, perhaps, Leo, and isn't, um, and isn't, isn't really your friend. Um, they have an ulterior motive. They have an agenda. And, you know, that's, you know, that can be very Pluto, right? You, it's, you're going to discover it, though. So you're going to know who this person is. The thing is, don't take this personally. Learn from it because we're going to have a tendency to take things personally and we're going to get deeply wounded and hurt perhaps. But this is a time to learn. When did you see the signs, right? Were there any signs there? When did this you know, how did this person come into your life? How did they manipulate? This can be a manipulation too. And this is very Pluto. It can be somebody vying for power. So it can be someone who's not direct, passive aggressive. You, anyway, this, it, it doesn't have to be major. It can't be, it doesn't have to be somebody who's completely betrayed you. Um, it's just somebody who's not, you know, a little nefarious, not telling you the truth, you know, using you in some way for something. So just be aware of it. Um, and I think that you're really going to know who this person is. Don't forget, look, it's like take it with, you know, what do they say? Take it with a spoon of salt or something or take it with a, I forget, a spoon of sugar, something like that. <laughs> take it with a pinch of salt. I've forgotten the saying. Anyway, I'm sure some of you will remind me in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media with friends, co-workers, <laughs> um, uh, neighbors, or uh, anyone. Share it, please. Sharing is caring. And comment. Let me know what I meant. <laughs> Um, I love you all, and I'll see you next week.